Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4, The Green Family Legacy, where Fern is currently playing with a baby chick. Look at how freaking cute it is. Oh my goodness. And I know I have a little bit of explaining to do as well, you guys, because what the heck are some baby chicks doing here? Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and oh my gosh, it's letting us pet it. It's letting us pet it. This is not a drill. This is so freaking adorable. Oh my goodness. Look at its little tiny face. I am so happy. I have loved chickens ever since I was a tiny little chick chick myself as an itty bitty baby Siri. Um, so I'm overjoyed and thrilled that our chickens are here. I really truly am. Don't mind Fern, she's just a little nauseous because she got sick from the nasty water that was coming out. Did oh my goodness, our mushroom chair got hit by lightning and destroyed. Wow, apparently we can afford to repair that with bits if I can just get more bits. But ignoring the burnt crisp of a mushroom in the background, um, we have baby chicks. And how did we get these? Well, if you guys recall, Fern actually has all of those errands, right? And one of her errands was to deliver a dozen white eggs to the grocery store owner. We're actually gonna go ahead and we are going to say that the grocery store owner um, who wants those eggs fresh, she was talking about it. Fern mentioned she was looking for eggs to help out the grocery store owner to someone else. There was a few misunderstandings and someone delivered a little baby chick hen who's here at egg savior school for chickens which is the name of the chicken coop by the way which is just absolutely cracking me up um it's clean look at this we must have one rooster and a hen in the coop to breed so we have one little hen named henrietta and we have one little rooster named seaford and they're both part of our little family now this is so exciting fern is actually still so enamored with everything that happened with jean and she still wants to ask jean to be her boyfriend i think she's about to lose the sad moodlet too if we can just get one of the chickens to be our friends uh and speaking of friends though look who it is duchess clover is here but we can't interact with her right now for some reason so we're just gonna let duchess clover be and we're gonna try to focus on maybe bonding with the chickens. And you know, for, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Fern is not the type of person who would actually, um, let's go ahead, can we hug Henrietta? Who would turn away an animal in need. So even though she, you know, doesn't plan on being here forever, I think she would see the little chick chick and her opinion of the situation would just be like, of course I'm going to be able to help them out. Like, they, they need a home right now, right? So she's just going to help take care of the little chick chicks, which makes me very ridiculously happy. Toby is busy barking at them, which is kind of hilarious. And now Toby is busy going off to bark at a bunny. So Toby's living Toby's best life, to be completely honest. The bunnies don't seem phased, which is really nice. And Fern's just really happy. Things are apparently starting to get dusty here, which is great because it might mean that we'll get some dust bunnies. Oh, we can cuddle with the chickens! Oh, my joy is just abundant, so abundant, and that's not even a bunny pun because we've got the bunnies jumping around too. Oh my gosh, all right. And meanwhile, in the background, you can see check it out jean's actually helping out with the gardening and he's feeling super inspired from all of the gardening that he's doing and i think literally we saw his trash plant like grow up behind us <laughs> just then uh so he's gonna weed the trash plant the strawberries this is just really turning out into like something absolutely fantastic and amazing is henrietta our friend yet wow well can we give a treat so we have the recipe for friendly treats now when we bought the chickens i mean cough cough when they were left at the house by somebody who misunderstood uh our conversation we did learn the friendly treat we can make friendly treats if we go to the fridge and use any fruit or veggies so let's actually run inside and we're going to make some treats for the chimkins and we're going to see pet recipe that would be for toby and if we want to go ahead Cry -a -da 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 -da. friendly treat let's make eight friendly treats yes go for it fern just please don't use up like our most important things use up like the mushrooms i'm begging you maybe i should hide some of the okay i should probably hide before we do this i'm gonna move <gasps> this is not a drill 
drill. This is not a drill. There is a dust bunny in the kitchen. This is not a drill. I'm also hiding some of our rare fruits and veggies inside of this. Okay, the picnic and basket cannot fit everything. You guys, there's so much happening all of a sudden. Okay, okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna, oh my gosh, where am I gonna hide all this fruit? Where am I gonna put this? There's a dust bunny in the house. Okay, we're gonna put the fruit over here. Do I have a crate? Do I have a large enough crate? I can't afford a crate right now. Um, oh my word. And we also have the Will-O-Wisp that Jean actually gave Fern. She would definitely keep it rather than sell it. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, all right. I really do need, I really, really do need like a crate or something to store a bunch of these things in. All right, storage. Thank you, Ravasheen, for all of your amazing things. Uh, here's a crate, here we go. Hoarders, oh yes, this is perfect. <gasps> Ravasheen, I continually, epically love you, Ravasheen. This is so perfect, look, okay. We could actually afford that crate too. And then I think I can actually, please let me get my, oh, it's not broken, yay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drag all of our rare plants that we don't want Fern to go ahead and turn into animal treats into here. Uh, soybeans can stay in there, garlic goes in here, mushrooms can stay in there. Um, let's see, blackberries, I need to start planting. Ooh, we have, oh, we have a medium zigzag hanger Fern made. I'm gonna list it on Plopsy in a little bit because we need the money. All right, there. Now Fern can make the thing, but we won't worry about, like, her using up the rare plants we need. And Jean! Jean, come inside right now! Fern's gonna let out a yelp, because she's gonna be like, there's a really weird bunny in the kitchen! Oh, this is just a day of joy and, like, bliss all around the place. I feel like Jean and Fern's, like, little family is kind of building itself right now. All right, let's come over. We're gonna go ahead and feed the dust bunny dust. Because Gene's going to find his own way to go ahead and befriend this dust bunny. Then we're going to move it. And we're gonna they're going to think it's just a really weird bunny. And it's one that Gene, and he's still happy from the kiss too. We're going to say it's one that Gene just really is enamored with. Oh, I love these things so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is this the most adorable little scene ever? Fern's just letting everything fly all over the place while she's trying to make these animal treats. Can I pet the little dust bun bun? Oh, let's see. Not happy enough for us to befriend yet. It's been fed a healthy sprinkling of dust. Can we ask it to search for valuables already? Like maybe it, it found something? Let's see. Fern now knows, like, cooking level seven. Dust Bunny dug through heaps of dust to find a mysterious pristine fruit or vegetable and even managed to retain from chomping into it. <gasps> Did you, little guy? It's some wax for beekeeping. <laughs> I don't think I can even sell it. That's hilarious. Thank you, Dust Bun Bun. Oh my gosh. All right, so I love this Dust Bunny. We're gonna go ahead and immediately name it. Nibbles sounds like the most adorable name. If we do this, okay, it, it really wants to be named Nibbles. Um, oh, like Nibbles though, like in the kitchen. Uh, let's actually name it uh, Crumbles after like a little crumpet. Uh, let's name it Crumpet actually. All right, this is gonna be Crumpet in the kitchen. Yes, and we are not gonna step on it. Oh my gosh. Jean, you have your very own dust bunny. Okay, we're gonna move Crumpet, and Crumpet's gonna hide in the fireplace. Crumpet's gonna mostly live inside this fireplace, I think. And uh, we'll go ahead and everybody thinks that it's just a really weird breed of rabbit that belongs around here. And Fern's kind of excited about it. All right, this is awesome. This is very awesome. Uh, also, Fern, did you already finish making all of those treats? And meanwhile, Fern still wants to quote unquote start a new career. She already finished all the friendly animal treats. What? Okay, here, we're gonna give Jean a couple. Whoa, they sell for a lot. <gasps> Fern could start like learning how to make animal treats to sell with all of the stuff she's got. Maybe she'll get into canning as a result of this too. And then we're gonna send these two out and we're gonna come give a friendly treat to Henrietta and give a friendly treat to itty bitty Seaford and see how that works. Oh my word. Can I give a treat to, okay, not to Duchess um, Clover, unfortunately. Can't give her a treat right now. 
Oh, Gene has unlocked the recipe for friendly treats because he was able to feed all. Oh my goodness, they got him a little pile of food on the ground. That's so cute. That's so ridiculously cute. Okay, yeah, that's precious. Gene's gonna go eat some fruit salad. Meanwhile, Fern is still like absolutely in love. Check in on Chicken's Day. Oh, let's pet Seaford. We've got to become friends with one of these little chicks, and then we'll be able... So we're already friends with Raspberry. We're already friends with Duchess Clover. Henrietta is now the, under the effects of the friendly treat. This will increase the relationship between the animal and the sim. Finally, a way, a chance to ask why they crossed the road. <gasps> yes, okay, and now we can like increase our relationship with them. Meanwhile, Fern's reached a daily lifestyle cap of some kind. And then let's pet Henrietta. Because if we can get one of these two chickens to be our friend today, then we'll actually be able to go ahead. Okay, Seaford didn't like that. Sorry, Seaford. Do you want to eat the animal treats? There we go. Yeah, if we can just get one of these little chickens to be our friend today, then Fern will actually have that sadness moodlet taken away because she's just going to be so overjoyed to be able to play with. Okay, we'll pet the little chimkin. Play with the little chimkin. Oh, look at that! Our rooster doesn't want to have any of the friendly treat for some reason. All right, Henrietta doesn't seem to like our jokes, but we're gonna do our best. She's also a baby, so I should probably let her. She's happy, she's clean, she's full, she's content on all of her attention. Seaford doesn't want this treat. He wants different treats, but we only know how to make this treat right now, Seaford. Now I really want to go to the Critter Keeper shop, though. And we'll try to figure out, like, how to take better care of our chickens. Can we hug Henrietta and maybe a bond closer with her? All right, let's just practice hugging and cuddling this little chick. Meanwhile, oh, Jean's already asleep. <laughs> All right, well, Jean did have nightmares last night, so it makes sense that he would want to go to bed. Fern might want to start taking care of some things around the house, but if we could just befriend this chimkin. Rock your body, receive the most votes, and we'll take, and mine will take place immediately. What? Oh, we forgot to vote on neighborhood initiatives. I guess Fern, like, didn't expect to get involved in all of those things so quickly. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. She hasn't forgotten about trying to ask, uh, Ask Jean to be her boyfriend yet either, by the way. Have you guys noticed that? I'm I'm pretty content with that. All right. And we'll give you a little nugget of advice, Henrietta. Being a chicken's friend takes a while. I wonder if trying to befriend the wild birds would actually help out. That might be something that that Fern might think about. All right, so I think we'll we'll have to give it a rest soon. Come on, Henrietta. How could we not be super duper? Iris! <laughs> our grandmother, our dead grandmother is, is like we're remembering the jokes she used to crack um, like an egg. Huh? <laughs> but we're remembering the jokes that our grandma used to have. Um, we'll go ahead and try to joke with Henrietta again as a result. Um, but it looks like we can pet her, hug her a lot. I might need to leave her alone. <gasps> Wait, are we friends? <gasps> we are now friends with Henrietta, everyone! It has happened! Between the kissing, between suddenly finding a couple little chicken chimkins show up, like, we are now friends with Henrietta, we are friends with Raspberry the Fox, we are friends with Duchess Clover. We're good friends with Duchess Clover even, even though Duchess Clover apparently can't come on our lot. Sorry, Duchess Clover, we'll work on that. Um, so, it's happened! Fern, between the kissing, between like everything else that's been going on, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to finally get a chance to remove Fern's very sad and the cursed lot traits. Befriend three new animals, mission checked off. I can't believe that. She only has the embarrassed moodlet now. And next up, we're gonna try to remove Jean's sad trait. Uh, which is hard to keep on him anyway. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead. We're going to remove, time to go ahead and straight up remove the, oop, 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 is very sad gone? 
<gasps> is it gone? Let's check. It's gone! Yes, it was gone anyway! Good, all right. I didn't have to cheat it back in because uh, that was perfect timing. Fern has bonded enough with the birds that she's really, really happy about this. That's excellent. I think I know how I want to be able to finish off uh, the whole day with this too. Let's wait for Jean to come outside and encourage crop growth. And then I think we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to see. Here, Fern, you go ahead and maybe eat some of these blackberries. Are these summer? Yeah, these are actually good for the summer. So we'll have her plant some blackberries up along the chimkin coop. And then we're going to finish off our day by fulfilling this ask to become boyfriend thing that Fern's kind of thinking about. All right, let's scooch these blackberries out a little for now so we can go ahead and plant them. Okay, let's scooch them out a little further for now so we can go ahead and plant them. We can always move them after we plant them. And then, so call chickens in. I think might keep them safe. Assign chickens. Huh. We'll have to... Oh, Toby, I thought you were a fox and I was just about to have a heart attack. Duchess Clover is back! Woo! Oh, no, it's Night Thistle! Sweet! So Night Thistle's visiting and Toby's just coming over to see what, like, Fern is up to with all of these, like, ridiculous chicken antics that she's doing. All right. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, okay. Oh, boop, boop. Good, good, good. Somebody's coming out to come and see the crop growth just in time. Here among all of the adorable little garden with tiny little chimkins chirping in the background with the crops really growing well and Gene happily down on his hands and knees like plucking up all of the weeds out of the mushroom patch. There's not really anything more romantic than that if you ask me. We're gonna come on over and we're actually going to romance asked to be boyfriend. Let's do it. I love this. Eves, she by Eve. <laughs> oh, he just agreed. Oh, look at their little eyes sparkle. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew they were going to agree, but still, that's so freaking precious, you guys. Finally, some happiness for both of them. I just need Jean to be able to befriend three of the people in town. And then. Oh, Boyfriend and girlfriend! And they want to go on vacation. <laughs> or travel somewhere together. Oh. <gasps> Jean wants to get engaged to Fern! <gasps> what? Okay, Jean, I think he's like jumping a little fast into things. Even Fern might start feeling that way. I want to see both of them think about it before we take that leap. But you guys, things are starting to move along. My goodness. Here, we're gonna come over and we're gonna like weed more areas, I think. Um, and we're actually, we're gonna compliment Fern because, you know, like he he is starting to, I, I, I think they really like each other a lot. Like they're having a, a nice conversation. They're smitten with one another. For some reason, it still just says they're acquaintances. There's so much more. They're deeply connected. They're smitten. They're girlfriend and like and boyfriend. I am so tickled to just see how this goes. Maybe they're going to talk about making more crumpets. Oh, and we got a dust bunny and chickens and Jean. Oh, now he wants to like throw a party because he's so happy. He is a bit of a friend of the world, isn't he? Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, he's really, he's really ecstatic as well. Here, we'll have him weed his trash plant. That seems like something that Jean would want to do. Okay, so these two these two are pretty smitten. Jean's actually suddenly looking around at this little cottage, and I think Jean's actually thinking about, you know, Fern's big family that she has, and she's thinking he might want that. But I hope he's thinking carefully, because I wonder if he's putting his... Like, I, I wonder if he'd worry a little bit, like, am I putting my desire for, like, a, a family of my own ahead of what's actually good for Fern and I? Like, they've got to think about that a little bit. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, Toby's just having the best. I feel like Toby's a lot happier out here where he can kind of run free and bark at rabbits than he was when he was really kind of being contained on the farm and underfoot because there was just always so much going on. All right, you guys, this makes me so happy. This makes me just so overjoyed and happy. And we still have so much further to go with their story. 
So, <gasps> while removing weeds, Fern found a frog in the garden? Oh my gosh, Fern! What kind? It was another dirt frog! <laughs> You know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna breed another frog and we're just gonna see if Fern can do anything with these frogs that we're finding on the farm because that's adorable. But all right, so it looks like these two are definitely mm, having things move along a little bit. I'm pretty proud about that. Uh, let's call our little chimkins in so that hopefully they won't be out when they shouldn't be in case, you know, any foxes want to come by. But maybe Toby will be able to keep the foxes at bay as a good guard dog of the little chickens, even though he's not too sure about them. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please consider subscribing to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures. Also, I think the chimkins are stuck. All right, chimkins, I think you guys need to come this way. There we go. There we go. We're going to move the little baby chimkins. All right, let's try again. Oh my gosh, like their boyfriend and girlfriend. Fern isn't going to be sad anymore. And now she's just feeling totally and completely inspired and wants to talk about her dreams with someone. And you know what? I think I have the perfect someone who can finally, finally, finally go on the little walk with Fern. It's about time that those two finally got to go on a good walk. All right, don't bark at the random kids, Toby. There goes Night Thizzle. Oh, this is great. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Fern and Jean discovering what it means to potentially, potentially be a family together. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, do stay curious. Let's see what Crumpet actually finds us for a valuable really quickly. Because I'm kind of curious. Crumpet's finding things hiding, maybe, perhaps? I think we got distracted from getting... Uh, did Crumpet find anything? I think we got distracted from Crumpet getting us something, but that's okay. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Jean and Fern and the Chimpkins and the Dust Bunny. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please... Like, I already said that like three times now. I'm just caught in the loop of joy. Never mind. I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious. Bye-bye.